Okay, what you don't see on the film, um, I apparently uh, GoPro did not, or the Garmin didn't record my beginning. Uh, basically, what I did was I got a pair of pliers and uh, like some channel locks and started drilling some holes, drilled some pilot holes. Um, <clears throat> I was having issues with that. Uh, they were burning up the bit, so I went to Lowe's and picked up some uh, some uh, cobalt bits, and that helped. Uh, still burnt them up, but as you'll see. Um, but yeah, so we uh, I wanted to show the beginning process of it, but apparently it wasn't recording, so. My apologies, uh, so we'll go ahead and start the video and uh, the build process uh, about the time that uh, where, uh, where I drilled the holes and, and, and uh, so that's where we're going to start. Okay, so I got the holes drilled, which was no easy task. Um, I had to get these uh, four times stronger drill bits. I will burn through probably four or five just <laughs> small bits just trying to get pilot holes into that. And just had an awful time drilling into this. It's super hard, hardened steel, and yeah, it just does not want to, nothing wanted to go through it. So, bought those bits. Um, honestly, I mean, I. I put it on the, the slow level on my drill and was going through it and it's still, it made it through the top one and then got about halfway to three quarters of the way through the bottom one here and it was doling out too. So, I mean, I tried the small one and it really wasn't doing a whole heck of a lot. So I went back and went to the 5 16 and it was chewing it up pretty good, at least in the top one. And then, yeah, it started doling out there at the bottom one, but I was able to get through it. Uh, Grabbed a couple other just woodworking bits and was able to burn those up and, and get through it at the same time. So I'm through it now. So maybe buy a couple of these 5 16 uh, drill bits instead of just the one like I bought. They're five, six bucks a pop. So they're not the cheapest things, but hey, we're through. Um, what I did was I bought a little three quarter inch dowel and then wrapped it in just some masking tape. Uh, hopefully that's going to be strong enough. I don't know. Um, kind of winging it here, so yeah, we'll see. But uh, it's an oak dowel, and yeah, so we'll, we'll see if that works. If not, I'll try and find some steel or something. Basically do the same thing, just create a plug and and uh, create a 5 16 hole in it so that it'll go in here. So here's my bolts. I'm gonna put those through there. Got a couple, got some washers and some 516 nuts, and so I'm gonna put it together. So, all right, okay. I have the bolts, and I've got uh, nuts on there. I'm gonna now put the washer on there, and then since I want the top, I'll be running things through here. I'll be putting this die on the bottom and this die on the top so that the bubble is on the top. So I'm going to put that and then put some nuts on there. I'll tighten it down and uh, next video we'll, or in the next scene we will be giving this a try. It looks pretty wild. <laughs> Oh, goodness. All right, let's uh, tighten it all down and see what we got. Okay, I had to loosen these up a little bit. I tightened it, this thing down way too much, and it just was not rolling properly. Uh, so once I loosened it up a little bit, things started working a little bit better. Some, I got some adjusting to do, but uh, yeah, I was first like doing this. It really wasn't doing that great. But then once I loosened it up, and then it start producing something like that so that's not too bad I can kind of work with that 
I believe. So uh, yeah, you just kind of pop it in there and get it get it close to what you want, and then just kind of start. If you would start working it down and apply a little bit more pressure. Get your fingers out of the way. I got some fine tuning to do and play around with it a little bit more and find out maybe not work with such thin gauge metal and wear some some gloves. But I think that's turned out pretty good. I don't know if you can catch that or not, but pretty nice little ridge there. I don't know if you can catch that on the camera or not, but, but yeah. Maybe do this side as well. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Can't do it inside, so so yeah, um, that's what we got. So I think uh, I think the tool's working pretty good. Like I said, I might do some adjusting on it, and and uh, so but yeah, there's a maybe a thirty thirty five dollar B roller. So not too bad.